Part two is going to be cube root functions. We're going to have the same style of transformations, H, K, and A. So we're going to identify the following. The vertex, according to the graph, there's not a K value out here. H is still opposite, so HK is zero. And you can see that right here. Here's the vertex. And if we describe the transformations from the parent function, the only thing that has occurred, it is one unit to the right. And then let's take a moment and talk about domain and range. If you notice, we have two arrows on a cubic function, which means they go forever in both directions. So your domain and your range are simply negative infinity to positive infinity. When we take a look at this one right here, we're going to go ahead and identify the um, HK, the vertex, which is a negative two and a positive four. And notice for here, this is going to be two places to the left of the origin, and it is going to be four places up from the origin. Again, you have two arrows here. So for your domain and range, it is always negative infinity to positive infinity.